The young monk caught a frog, tied it up with a rope, and watched the frog drag a stone. He laughed happily. A poisonous snake slowly approached, but the young monk was not afraid, and even reached out to grab it. He laughed as he grabbed the snake's head, and tied a stone to it as well. He also caught a small fish, and tied a stone to it too. The fish couldn't swim anymore, and the young monk was delighted. The master came over, witnessed everything, but did not stop him. Instead, when the disciple fell asleep, he also tied a big stone to him. The next morning, the young monk bent over in distress, begging the master to untie him. But the master told him to first untie the small animals. If they died, he would have to carry a stone for the rest of his life. So the young monk carried the stone and climbed the mountain. He found the frog under a rock crevice. Although it couldn't swim anymore, it was still alive. He gently cut the rope and tenderly released the frog. After the bondage was released, the little frog immediately regained its vitality, but when he found the snake, it was already dead. The small fish in the water also died due to lack of oxygen. The young monk was filled with grief. He didn't expect his unconscious play to hog.